Now we're going to move on to our within our sequence and series uh, lessons how to evaluate a series. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two is the first term. Four is the second term of the sequence. Six is the third term. Eight is the fourth term, and ten is the fifth term. Now what we want to do is find the sum. The sum of a sequence and this is a sequence, remember, is called a series. Sum of the sequence is a series. So, if I want to say, add the first n terms of a sequence to give me a series, I would say s sub n. So s sub 1 would just be 2. s sub 2 would be 2 plus 4, the first two terms, which is 6. S sub 3 would be 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. S sub 4 would be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, which is 20. S sub 5, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10, which is 30. So you, you get the, the point here that all you're doing is plugging numbers in from the sequence, adding them together to get the series. Okay, so let's say that um, S sub n is going to be given by a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 so on and so forth up to a sub n. We can also use a shortened uh, notation of this called summation notation. It's also called sigma notation. And it's called sigma no notation because we use the Greek symbol or the Greek letter uh, epsilon, capital epsilon, that looks like this. So if I wanted to say that I want to add um, the first n terms of the sequence, I would start with n equals 1 at the bottom of sigma, and let's say I want the first 3, I would put 3 at the top. And I want to get to it by using the formula 2 times n. So this would be 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3, which is 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. The n equals 1 is called the index of summation. Okay, let's try another one. Evaluate the series i equals 1 to 3. We're going to start at 1. We're going to end at 3. Start it with the first term and with the third term. And it's going to be 2i minus 1. So I have 2 times 1 minus 1 plus 2 times 2 minus 1, plus 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 1 plus 3 plus 5, or 9. Let's try another one. This time we're going to start at 3, and we're going to end at 6, and it's going to be uh, 1 half n. So it would be 1 over 2 times 3, 1 over 2 times 4, 1 over 2 times 5, 1 over 2 times 6. Starting at 3, ending at 6. Well, this is going to be 3 halves plus 2. 1 half times 4 is 2. 5 times 1 half is 5 halves, and 1 half times 6 is 3. So we gather our terms. We have 2 plus 3 gives us 5, and 3 halves plus 5 halves is 8 halves, which is 4. So we have 5 plus 4 is 9. So go ahead and do your checkpoint number 3 and come back. Okay, example 4. Write this one in expanded form. Now, sometimes you're going to be left with a variable that you can't add, just add the numbers. In this case, we're going to start with i equals 1, and we're going to go up to i equals 5. So it would be x to the first power plus x to the second power plus x to the third power plus x to the fourth power plus x to the fifth power. I can't, I, I substitute um, the numbers for i, not x. So I still have my x's, so I, and I can't do any more with that because I can't add those together. So go ahead, I jumped the gun a bit here, but go ahead and do your checkpoint number four, and I will see you in class.